Well, guys, it's LASIK time. The day is finally here. I am super tired. Didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. Of course, I'm a night owl anyway. And uh, my appointment's at 9.40 this morning. It's a little after 8 right now. Waiting, in, waiting on the wife to hop in the shower here. And then we're going to go on over to the appointment. Should be there, they said, max of two hours, probably less. But the actual procedures only take seconds her eye once I'm actually in there. She'll probably be able to get some pretty cool video because it's kind of like a fishbowl in the operating theater and everyone around can see and uh, video and take photos, whatever you want to do. And they got TVs for everyone in the waiting room there to watch as the procedures are going on. And I watched hers done. She had hers done years ago at the same place. I'm having it done for those that want to know at LASIK Plus in Tampa, right by International Mall, right by the Davidoff store. And they are by far, I mean, head and shoulders above everybody else, number one in the area, if not the state, if not the region of the country. My doctor, Dr. Grubin, has done over 30,000 patients himself. Obviously, being a photographer and a videographer, my eyes are absolutely critical and paramount. And it's the number one reason I've, you know, put it off because it hasn't been super critical for me over the years. But I absolutely trust him and I trust his reputation and the results. And like I said, my wife went there. I know other people that have gone there over the past few years and nothing bad. I, I've never heard anything bad about LASIK Plus. So I have the utmost confidence in them and it's time to do it. So up till now, the process has been very easy. It's been different from even when she went a few years ago. For me, I went in and went through an exhaustive series of tests. They do complete tests on your eyes to just make sure you're a candidate, make sure that there's nothing wrong. They do more tests than even a standard eye exam for glasses or contacts. I've had many done for both over the years and they rule everything out and what was really cool at the end was because I'm almost 43 now and as our eyes age we have some changes in them and up close as we age we'll typically have a little trouble seeing and even with LASIK might need reading glasses and that's just part of getting older not a big deal I do have that problem I can see less and less really up close. I'm talking four to five inches from my face. Just can't do it. I need a little reading glass. I can't even do it with these on. So they said that's probably going to be the only thing to look out for. It has nothing to do with LASIK or any other corrective surgery. You'll, you'll just need to get readers at some point. I said, that's fine. You know, that's totally expected. But the cool thing is they gave me these little apparatuses and they simulated exactly what it would be like if I had LASIK. So I took off my glasses, put on their little things, and they said, here you go. This is how it would be. So I could preview what it would be like after getting it done. I'm like, dude, this is like, fine. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, this is pretty much exactly what I have now, except better. Yeah, do it. So that was really cool. Not much else to say. Uh, I'm not nervous. Just want to get it done and get on with the day. They said, I'm going to have some downtime this afternoon as my eyes immediately heal. And they want me to take a nap for a few hours. They're going to give me Valium. And that's about it. Tomorrow, I go back alone. I don't need her to drive me for a follow-up. And I go back for another follow-up a week after that. And that's it. I got some eye drops to take for a week and uh, some vitamins. So let's go.
so immediate wrap up. I'm very groggy right now. Gave me a Valium. Just got home. Procedure went absolutely flawlessly. Took me back in the room. They double checked everything with a quick exam. And got a whole bunch of eye drops I have to take right now. My eyes just feel like I left my contacts in too long. You know, like very dry, not dry, burning. If anyone wears contacts, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't wear contacts, really bad bloodshot. That's what they feel like. And uh, today I've got to put in one particular eye drops every two hours. I've got a whole bunch of basically comfort eye drops I can do as needed. And then starting tomorrow, there's another eye drops that have to come in and they run for the course of a week and they want you to take some vitamin pills. And tomorrow I've got a follow-up and then a week after that, another follow-up. They said the whole healing process can take a few months. So I might see some halos at night and things like that, but that should clear up. And that's it. Right now, they want me to take a nap four to five hours. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. They want me to wear these for 24 hours even while sleeping because I can't touch my eyes for 24 hours so that's it see you later